this is our setup for today our color graded clippers cool care premium guards with the 0.5 and the 1.5 guard make sure you guys spray your clipper before you go ahead and use it then we're going to start off with the number four guard and scoop out all the excess bulk there you know my client did get kind of like a low fade but it wasn't the most uh the best blended haircut as you guys can see the hair growth right there around the ear it's a little dark so that's what we're working on we're working on getting that clean that nice little clean blend so then we can set some nice crispy guidelines so this is the number three guard close as well we went in with the number four guard created a, a base around three fingers then we go half a finger below that using our number three guard with the lever closed and we, we just want to go ahead and just scoop out this is not really like blend work this is just to organize our work and to clean up the space because it's better to have our work clean and organized before we set some guidelines so the first step is going to be to examine our c cup area right there that's the c cup area with the right with the red marker by the temple of the head the first guideline is going to range from the beginning of the c cup towards the middle of the ear and we're going to go about one finger and we're going to angle it in that direction first starting at the middle of the ear then we take it towards the top of the ear and then we connect it to the start of the c cup area we want to maintain that c cup area as dark as possible this is a burst fade like a low to mid burst fade haircut so we're not going to use any trimmer any shaver anything this is the closest that we're going to get into cutting our uh into the blend you know it's going to be a zero with the lever lever closed then we open up the lever and we create a one finger guideline that resembles that's the same exact shape and form as that first guideline that we set the way that we're going to erase this guideline is using a lever method called middle open closed so we're going to start with our lever in the middle put our lever right there in the middle and we're going to hit the guideline in the middle so we're just going to go like that back and forth and remember you guys have to keep a nice clean visual of where your guideline began so you can follow that nice consistent flow as we keep opening up the lever we go higher into the guideline so right here around the ear too remember that you guys have to just respect the guideline and not go any deeper than you're supposed to right here the next step is going to be to grab our number one guard and open up the lever anytime you open up the lever this creates the half so attaching the one guard creates the one and a half and this is going to be a one finger guideline that's the same shape as the first guideline that we set but in this step it's going to take two steps to erase that guideline the second and third guideline always require multiple steps so we're going to do close to open we're going to grab our one guard again and hit the beginning of the guideline and as we go higher into that guideline we want to open up the lever a little bit so my lever now is in the middle position and you guys can see that the that the guideline isn't blending but it is softening so this step is going to set us up for the next step to completely erase the line so i'm going to follow the same rhythm that i've been doing for the whole haircut with the 0.5 guard now a lot of the times before as a beginner i used to rush this process with the 0.5 guard i used to just run through it really quick but it's one of the steps that requires the most time because it just takes a while for it to blend out especially using cheap clippers so make sure you guys run through the close to open around three four even five times and you guys are using the corners of your clippers as you guys can see there so once that's blended we're going to grab the number two guard with the lever open and we're going to flick out about one finger so every single time we set a guideline we have to remember to always give ourselves one finger of a distance to create the guideline and then use whatever lever method you guys want to use to erase that line whenever you guys want to play it safe make sure you guys do open to close lever method which i'm doing in this in this step i attached my 1.5 guard this is going to be almost the last step that we take in this blending process and i'm going to go from open to the middle position and go a tiny bit lower now so you guys always have to remember to hit the guideline accordingly to wherever your lever is at so the more open that it is the more space that you guys can go up in in the guideline for the c cup area what we're going to do is we're going to comb everything out and place our middle finger right there on his cheek rest that middle finger it's going to give you support so you guys can use your wrist in a better just in a, in a better motion so you guys can use your machine like a pencil 
if you guys have trimmers just use your trimmers guys you guys don't want to do this you know it took me a while to get that nice crispy lining on the c cup but it is possible guys we are using the least amount of equipment possible flip your, your clipper on its position on this position it's the sharp it's going to be the sharpest that you're going to get for this haircut and we use our little our cheap scissors that came with the machine these are the worst scissors i've ever used in my life and to line up that back of the neck and with your comb guys aim for those dark spots and this technique is called point cutting so it's very important that you guys use your eyes and locate those darks those dark areas because you know your machine's not going to do all the work you have to make sure you guys use other tools to blend and to give yourself some nice detail work because that's what's going to separate your work from all the other barbers is the amount of time that you take on your detailing and once it's that's done just i grabbed the 1.5 guard it opened up the lever and just used the corners and i just was aiming for dark spots looking for more dark spots for the finishing touches in the c cup area i used my exposed razor and I stretched out the skin. I make sure I put my client in, in the, the chair that I have. I put it all the way towards the bottom. And I stretch out the skin with my left thumb. And I put and I angle the, the razor in a 45 degree angle. This is the before of the haircut. And this is the after. This is a mid burst fade haircut tutorial using very basic equipment. If you guys enjoyed the content, let me know down below in the comment section what tools I should use or any constructive feedback on the channel. I appreciate you guys for rocking with me. Hit the like, sub for more videos, and I'll catch you guys next week for more haircut videos. Peace.